So let's look closely at this map just to give you a sense of why this might be problematic if this is the only view you have of the world. That's Greenland. If you take it down just perspective-wise relative to other landforms in this map, it kind of looks the equivalent of South America. That's a problem because Greenland is about 800,000 square miles. South America, more like 7 million. And they're not really equal. And so when we look at it, we, we need to understand that no, Greenland is actually much smaller. And you can think about this if you're trying to pitch funding. If you're saying, OK, what are the biggest areas in the world? If we don't make South America as big as it needs to be, maybe we overlook some of the need there. You can see a better representation of this discrepancy if you take Africa. So again, that's the size of Greenland on the Mercator projection. And next to Africa, maybe half comparable, at least, Africa, around 12 million square miles. It's 14 times larger than Greenland. But if your only understanding of the world is this map, you're going to be off on a lot of things. A better representation of this relationship might be something like really tiny Greenland, really big Africa. If you're trying to make that point to someone, that's how you want to describe it. Don't just assume that you have to keep them in the same font. Don't you just assume that you have to use language that you inherited. 